In today's video, we're going to go through an arm rehab routine using this Pilates bar. Now, the unique feature of this bar is it has these resistance bands attached to it, and resistance bands can be used in two ways. They can be used to make a movement more challenging by adding resistance to that movement, or they can be used to assist a movement if you're someone that's in the early stages and that is why it is probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment because it can be used in almost every stage of arm recovery. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara. I'm a neurologic physical therapist and on this channel we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset in the context of neurologic injury with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your rehab and your health to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. Now, before we dive into the exercises, there will be a handout that goes along with this video that is available if you are a bronze member. The handout will include pictures and descriptions of all of the exercises so that you don't have to keep coming back and re-watching these videos if you want to incorporate these exercises into your routine. Now, again, the PDF handouts are only available to our bronze and our gold members. If you want to learn more about our membership, you can click on the first link in the description below where you can learn all the perks that are included with your membership. But now let's go ahead and dive into the exercises. All right, so for this first exercise, we're just gonna start standing so that we can get a good hold of the bar. And then once you have a grip, if you need to strap your one of your hands or if you have a weaker hand to the bar, you could go ahead and strap that hand there uh, because the bar is kind of attached to the wall. It'll kind of help to hold it a little bit. You can get that strap around your hand to strap your hand on. And then you're just gonna sit down and kind of allow that bar to raise your hands up. Now, you don't have to sit this low because some of you might not be able to get down this low, but it does help to have the bar quite a bit above your head in order to get into this position. So again, this isn't gonna work for everyone, but don't worry, we're gonna do this in a variety of different positions. But for this one, you're just gonna pull the bar down and then allow the resistance of the bands to kind of pull the arm back up. So it's a small movement, but getting from here to here for a lot of you is extremely hard. So you don't have to work a very large range, but it does kind of just set you up for success and get you over that hump of starting to get your arms above shoulder height. So here we're using the bands to assist reaching that arm up. And then from there, you can try and straighten your arms out. Now, because your hands are on this bar and the bar is attached to the wall, some of you might be able to get your arms straight. So I know it might look hard because you don't feel like you can get your hands above your shoulders, but don't think you can until you try. So I would definitely give this one a try, but kind of allow that band to come up and then you're just gonna try and push your arms straight. All right, so. You're probably gonna start here because a lot of you do have some spasticity and tone in your arm. Just allow that band to bring it up and then try and straighten your elbows if you can. Now from there, if you can get your arms into this position, try and do a little bit of a stretch. So just lean forward, Really kind of stretch that upper back, stretch those shoulders. And then come back and bring it back down. So again, up. Try and straighten those arms out if you can. If not, you can just keep it right here. But if you can and you can get those arms straight, and then if you can get your arms straight, you can add a little stretch. All right, now for this exercise, we're just doing a little row. So again, if you are anchoring to a door, you can buy these like door anchors that just are like a little ball on a, on a rope and it goes inside the door. And then just make sure that you the door opens away from you, but you would just slide it down to kind of like maybe the door handle height, but you want it about chest height. When you're sitting, 
and then you're just going to pull back, really trying to squeeze those shoulder blades behind you. Now, one thing you want to pay attention to is make sure your shoulders aren't coming up towards your ears. Try and press your shoulders down away from your ears as you pull back. Now, this is another exercise that's kind of like an active assist or it's a resistance exercise. So the band is actually helping to assist, kind of like a shoulder press, but also because it's behind your head a little bit, it'll actually help to kind of extend those arms back behind your head. But then also the pulling down part kind of works the shoulder extension muscles. So it's kind of used in both directions. Now, for most people, I find that the pulling down is a little bit easier. So having a little bit of resistance for that portion of the movement is actually okay. A lot of you will be able to do that. But then when you're bringing your arms back up, just think relax and kind of allow the bands to help you so that your arm doesn't want to go. If you have a lot of tone in your arm or kind of involuntary contraction, your arm doesn't want to pull inward. Okay, so let me show that to you again. Now, I know it's up over your head, but just if you can, pull it down with your stronger arm. And then some of you, not everyone, but some of you will be able to do this. Try and get that arm around there or that hand around there. Or if you have someone that can help you, and I know a lot of you do, then let them help you kind of strap your hand to the bar. And then you could just spend like five or 10 minutes just working on reaching up. Reaching up. All right, so this one we're just doing a bicep curl. Now you can do this sitting up with a resistance band as well. I kind of like doing it lying down sometimes because I just think that when someone's trunk is stabilized, it does decrease tone. So if you're someone that has a lot of involuntary contraction, doing this laying down can sometimes get more of like a normalized movement. What I mean by that is a lot of times when you guys do a bicep curl, if you have a lot of spasticity, your arm likes to pull in. With the bar, holding the bar, one, that kind of keeps your hand arms more externally rotated, so it's less likely to pull in. And two, it's easier to keep your elbow in by your side sometimes. So just another way that you can use this bar to strengthen your arm muscles in a manner that might be a position where your tone won't interfere as much. So again, you're just gonna lay down. If you have a caregiver, they can just hand you the bar and then pull. All right, now this exercise, for those of you that when you go to reach your arm forward, your arm kind of pulls in and across your body. So having this band kind of attached to something on one end of the bar um, just helps to kind of keep the bar out as you move that arm forward. So again, it's for those of you where your hand really likes to pull across, the resistance band is just kind of helping to keep that bar go a little bit straighter. And so you might be able to get your arm to track a little bit straighter. And then you're just going to push the bar forward. Now, this is another variation of just how to potentially make an exercise easier for those of you that are working on overhead reaching. Sometimes, not for everyone, but sometimes depending on what contributing factors are uh, influencing your difficulty with raising your arm overhead, sometimes having kind of like a stiff lever to kind of push against can make it a little bit easier. Now, the downside of this is, is this bar is not super light, so it does add some weight. But just another option if you're having trouble with all the other options to work on raising your arm overhead, especially for those of you, and some of you have asked this question, how do you transition from reaching overhead laying down to sitting up? Because some of you can do it laying down, but you can't do it sitting up. This might be an intermediate option that might help you. Now, again, it is heavier. So for some of you, it's going to be harder than if you just didn't push anything up in the air. But for some of you, 
you know, again, depending on the uh, amount of asbestos you have or what exactly is influencing your inability to raise your arm overhead, this might be an option. So if you need to, strap your hand to the bar and then you're just going to reach. So this wall anchor, I will have a link for this in the description below. For some of the other exercises, you don't necessarily need the wall anchor, but for this one, I, it works pretty well. And again, this has these little loops on the end, so you can just hook it onto the wall anchor, and then you're just gonna push it up. Now, for those of you that have a lot of tone, you know, might wanna pull in, <clears throat> or your elbow might wanna flare out, don't go, so high that you start to see some of those kind of abnormal movement patterns, but maybe just work in a little range where you're not having to um, have some of the downsides or, or that lack of control uh, interfere with quality movement. So again, you're just gonna push up. And then when you come down, what you're trying to do is keep your elbow in line with the pole. Remember, a lot of you guys, your elbow flares out to the side. So one thing you want to be very intentional about is that your elbow is staying in line with the pole. Now, this is just a row. But it's a way that you can incorporate a row into a standing activity. So for some of you guys where your tone increases when you stand or you walk or you walk, I've talked about this in other videos, simulating kind of like a walking position. So having your legs split or staggered is kind of one phase in the walking cycle. So kind of creating that condition and then adding an upper extremity or an arm row is a great way to start to work your way away from some of those movement patterns that you don't want with your arm when you are walking. So again, you're just gonna start with your legs staggered. Uh, the arm that you're working or the working arm, you want that the band on that end of the bar. So the band is only on one end of the bar. Now this wall anchor I have behind me, I do have another one on the wall in front of me. So that's what it's attached to. So attach it to a wall or a door, and then you're just gonna pull back. Now, when you pull back, just try and squeeze that shoulder blade back as you bring it back. So that's that flat bone on the back of your shoulder. You want to almost feel like you're squeezing that or moving that bone towards the other shoulder blade, okay? Now, one thing you want to pay attention to is that you're just not rotating your body, especially if you're really trying to isolate that arm movement. So arms out in front and just row back. Now, if that's too hard for you, you can do it sitting or you can do it standing without having your feet in that staggered position if that really does interfere with your ability to perform the arm movements. Like I said, for some of you guys, your arm moves much better when you're not standing and walking. So just start with a simpler position, i.e. sitting or standing with your feet side by side if you just absolutely cannot perform that movement with the arm or with your feet staggered. And then that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Forget if you want instant access to the PDF version that goes along with this video, that is exclusive content for our members only. To learn more about our membership program, click on the link in the description below. If you're new to this channel and you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. I enjoyed spending time with you all today and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.